Look what's been here a while. It's the Ask the Witch Tarot 78 cards and a guidebook. Tarot wisdom from a timeless coven. There we go. Uh, there's who made it. And there is the side of the box in case you want to ask the witch that. And here is the back of the box. See all this dust on it? It's because, wow, that's a lot of dust. It's because I have it in a while. I just haven't had a chance to open it yet. The problem with getting a new deck almost every day is um, sometimes if you don't get a chance that day, then you get a new deck, a newer deck, and the newer deck is more exciting than the other new deck anyway. That's a pretty, that's a pretty color. I like that. So here's the Ask the Witch. Ooh, it's, it's uh, nice. It's not hardback, but it is a little... It is a little uh, stiffer than normal. I said stiff. Ooh, and it's color too. Beautiful book. Wow. Very pretty book. Very nice indeed. How many pages is this thing? It is ish, 120 ish pages. Um, but yeah, very attractive book. I guess it's got a lot of text in it. It's got good stuff. And uh, overall, it's just really attractive book. But yeah, it's a little, it's not hard bound, but it is a stiffer uh, soft bound. Anyway, it looks so nice. The packaging, ooh, that is nice too. The packaging is really impressing me so far. So yeah, let's break this out. Not wrapped in plastic, but it is on its own. It is in its own little box, so there you go. Um, wow, there is the back, in case you're wondering what the back looks like. And here is the front. So let's go through these cards and check them out and see what's going on with these things. Ace of Cups, these are way out of order. Um, can I put them back in order in a, in a reasonable time frame? Let's see. It, it seems to be designed to go from, uh, yeah, it's definitely, definitely designed to go from back to front but we're going to do it front to back just in case we're going to take a look at it the fool very attractive oh i like that i love all the little details on here like they've gone above and beyond um, what they needed to do to make this really detailed so yeah you have something sort of oozing out or sort of sorry shadow it looks like something oozing Normally, you don't see a shadow that pronounced or that different than the foreground, if that makes any sense. Uh, it almost looked like there's something there, you know, something on it. Anyway, card quality is, it's okay. Nothing to brag about, but it's okay. It has a nice, very laminate, very glossy coating, as you can see from the reflections. Uh, we have the magician right there. I love the art style. The border is just enough, but it's not obtrusive. So it's a nice light border, doesn't get in the way. Again, the shadows are very overpronounced. Wow, really overpronounced. We have um, a creature in the background. We have kind of maybe a temple or what have you in there. Very cool. Uh, we have the high priestess, uh, which looks really good. So yeah, pretty cool. Kind of muted colors on the high priestess compared to the others the empress um over there just crying their eyes out uh, i'm not sure it appears to go be going into the um into the cauldron or what have you um, i'm not sure what's going on this is definitely one where you need the book to go through and luckily we have not only a book but a very fancy book indeed the emperor is there um okay we got the waves and what have you. That's kind of cool. And then we have the Hierophant. Uh, Hierophant with multiple arms. I like it. So playing an instrument, sort of hanging out, chilling out between the two pillars. Um, okay, cool. The Lovers running around in the, uh, in the Garden of Eden there. Not sure what's going on there. Not sure what's going on there. But, again, we just kind of need the book. The Chariot, beautiful colors, really nice. A very good sense of movement. It feels like a uh, reindeer with maybe Santa hanging on to it. But instead of Santa, we have the witches uh, coming around and whatnot. So we have a, uh, the Strength, very pretty colors here too. It looks like they're cleaning up a bunch of goo. It looks like a goo explosion from Nickelodeon. And uh, the Hermit, okay, that's kind of cool. 
Very lonely indeed. Uh, interesting. I don't really know what's going on in half of these cards, so definitely something where you're going to need to read the book to sort of get an idea, to get a little history of it, what have you. Wheel of Fortune, I love sort of weaving. It reminds me of um, uh, Pierce Anthony. If you haven't read his um, basically the Immortal series or what have you, so you have a uh, the person that does time, the uh, like father time kind of thing, has a uh, does it with a threads. So it's kind of interesting. Anyway, uh, justice card with uh, one one fish with the sword and another fish with that. And then we have a mermaid, really weird looking mermaid in between. Hanged man, interesting. You have that threat of drowning almost if the waters come up enough. And then we have the death card. Um, wow, okay, no horse, no nothing, just sort of uh, up there. Temperance card, we have the balancing. Uh, what's that red? I'm not sure what that red is. Is that a, um, is that something coming out of her skin? Like what the heck is that? I don't know. So they have the devil, very interesting indeed. Pretty cool looking. I love the sort of the wings and what have you. We have the tower, sort of uh, falling down on the tower, collapsing, and we have more tears, I think, yeah. Is that tears or a tattoo? It looks like a tattoo instead of tears. So, sort of a lightning tattoos. There we go, cool. Uh, the sword is above there, and it looks like they're con controlling the lightning, maybe? That's kind of interesting. Uh, the star. I have a lot of people witnessing this. Speaking of Nickelodeon, that looks like the, uh, the Nickelodeon mascot, kind of. A little bit like the Nickelodeon mascot, I'm not going to lie. So, yeah, the star. We have the moon with the howling beasts. We have the sun with someone sitting inside of the sun. We have judgment, no E. Um, I guess collecting gifts, it appears. Collecting presents for the little people. Uh, the world, and there we go. So now these are out of order, obviously, because they came that way. Ace of Cups, um, kind of gooey looking water, I guess. The Two of Cups, uh, again, with sort of the bloody tears. That's interesting. I guess we're going to drink the bloody tears. We have a sword sheath with no sword. A lot of interesting symbolism in here. We have the celebration. Very good sort of connectivity here. It's almost like the hair wraps around like an arm, which is kind of cool. Then we have the four of cups. Um, yeah, pretty traditional. Nothing, nothing substantial here other than the hat. We have the Five of Cups, the Lord of Disappointment, Sorrow. We have the Six of Cups, handing the cup over. We do not have the guard with the castle over here. The Seven of Cups. So, yeah, they got the face, you got the dragon, you got the gear. Uh, you got, you're pretty traditional with that. Uh, Eight of Cups, again, kind of traditional with the goo on the mountains and whatnot. We've added a bird. The moon is more traditional. And again, with the over overdone shadows. So, uh, nine of cups, pretty, pretty standard there. And a ten of cups, again, pretty standard. We have the house, the small house, the land. Not much greenery in this deck. It's very sort of barren and uh, brown and desaturated and whatnot. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of interesting. Uh, Knight of Cups, we have Mr. Romance here flying the bird from the previous cards. Yeah, we got the, I guess the wheat, is it wheat? Uh, you know, correct me, correct me. Queen of Cups, the water of water. Ooh, that is interesting. I like that, sort of the whale bringing the Queen of Cups out. It's almost like they want to eliminate the isolationism of the King of Cups by adding a beast in there. And speaking of the King of Cups, they are away from their throne, interacting with the fishies. They got water all over them. Okay, we have the Ace of Pentacles with the patched up hand, almost like a Frankenstein hand kind of thing. There's a version of Frankenstein movie that was super creepy. 
Uh, it had Frankenstein basically falling off this huge cliff and just like getting up at the bottom of it. Uh, it's like one of the older uh, versions of Frankenstein. Anyway, I remember that. I got to look that up sometime and rewatch that. Three of Pentacles, we have working on it. We have the specifications from there. The four, very standard. Five, very standard. You have the double, you have the double uh, cane, the double crutch, what have you. Okay. And then we have the six of Pentacles, pretty standard. The seven of Pentacles, with the mask. It's interesting, we have more farmland over here. Normally you don't see that, kind of just cuts off here, but now we have extra farmland. Eight of Pentacles, kind of standard there, creating what not, but levitating them. And the nine, that's interesting, we introduced a book here, which is normally not in the nine, normally have the bird, uh, what have you, okay. Ten of Pentacles, elderly family in a more stone structure. Page of Pentacles, but the Pentacles on fire with a skunk. Kind of interesting. And the Knight of Pentacles, very cool. Very, very pretty. Okay, Queen of Pentacles, just kind of chilling. And the King of Pentacles, reaching in with something to do something. I'm not sure, are they actually carving? I guess that's a, kni that's a knife. So that's a knife, and they're carving the pentacle into the tree, which is kind of cool. And again, with the exaggerated shadows, Ace of Swords, traditional, but has a glove. The two, the three with the heartbreak of the heart that's extruded from their body, apparently. The four, ooh, sort of cool, like a mural almost there. Um, and then we have the five of swords, the Lord of Defeat with blood on it. You normally don't see that level of uh, graphicness on here. But that's interesting that they're also barricaded in, like they have no escape. They're barricaded in by the wall. That's kind of cool. Um, six of swords. Uh, okay. The reflection is kind of cool. Uh, Seven of Swords, kind of traditional, but you don't see where they came from. It's not as graphic as where they came from. Eight, you have the elevated with the elevated platforms with the elevated buildings. Man, that is really, really tied up there with a belt. Yeah, with a belt with a buckle. Uh, nine, we have the quilt without the symbols. And the ten, very graphic with the blood and whatnot. Uh, page, have a bird, I guess, they're interacting with this bird. Um, and then the knight, very fast, almost like a Thoth type of thing where we're riding a beast, a bird. Or, well, no, well, the Thoth doesn't ride a bird, but you know what I mean? It's sort of through the air kind of rush. Normally, you don't sort of have that. Uh, Queen of Swords, very cool. Is that blood on her hands from touching the sword? It's like the sword has made her bleed. Uh, okay. We got the king. That's interesting with a cloud behind him, like he's building up momentum for something. Uh, the ace. Two. So levitating the globe instead of holding it. We have the three looking out. The four with nobody here. That's interesting that we added stairs. There's nobody here, though. Nobody underneath it. Some car or some decks will add characters inside of the chuppa, and, but most sort of have it off to the side. But the, it, the addition of stairs, that almost implies a temporary situation where we're climbing the stairs or descending the stairs through the four. Uh, okay, we have the five, sort of a game, having fun with the combat. The six with the celebration. We have the seven, the defense with a bird and a snake. Very expressive, too. Uh, the eight. The Most of the time on the witch's tarot, you have a witch riding one of these, but we skipped that, apparently. We got the nine. 
with the, uh, I guess the early cat. We couldn't wait, we couldn't wait. The tin with the exaggerated shadow, the page with the traditional rabbit, the knight, and the queen. Does the queen have the black cat? Yes, the queen does. All is well in the world where we have the cat and the king. Pretty deck, very pretty deck. Beautiful packaging, great book. Like really, really, really good book. So uh, yeah, so Baba Yaga standing on the chicken's leg. So everything is detailed out in here. Has the witch's spells, has the uh, moon, the four of wands. Let's see if it mentions the stairs. Circle people dancing. Um, okay. Being together, a path of life. There you go. So yeah, beautiful book, fantastic quality. Uh, great box, great uh, card quality. A little too laminated for me, but I'm picky on the lamination. Uh, beautiful box, very nice. You know, magnetic opening. Um, overall, this is a win. I really, really, really like this deck. Let me know what you think about Ask the Witch Tarot. Thank you for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.